my name is Jasper and welcome back to Dark Souls 2 and we have reached Majula so in this video we are going to do a lot which is we are going to learn a lot about Majula because Majula is the place that we are going to go a lot of time even though you have been to any other places but you will always go back to Majula so for me it is extremely important to know the things that we is available at Majula. So in this video, I will be telling you guys everything that you need to know in Majula. So let's get started. Oh no! Okay, starting in offline mode. Continue. Marco level eleven, Majula. In the last episode, I ended my s saving at the sun sunrise. Oh, I don't remember myself here. Okay, never mind. First of all, we are going to talk to this guy. Examine zero death worldwide. But I'm pretty sure that I will have death later on in the game. Talk. You are. Undead, aren't you? You have that yes. distinct scent, the smell of irreversible fate. This is Majula. It is a kind of settlement, a place where life is almost normal. And in Grand Lake these days, there are very few places like that. And this place actually is safe from harm because there are no enemies here and the only one that actually stranded around here are only people that actually lost in hope which they have no longer anything that they need to struggle for so this is one of the guys that actually suffer some of some kind of disappointment in his life so he cannot really continue his journey so in the end, he was stranded in this island without anything to do again, so he was the one that actually suffered. So right now we are going to talk to the Emerald Hel Herald, which is one of the most important characters in the game. So what does she have to talk to us? Are you the next monarch? Yeah, yeah, yeah! Or merely a pawn of fate? No. Bearer of the curse. I will remain by your side till this frail. She will always shut. remain at our side, guys. Take this with you. May it ease your journey. And she gives us the Estus flowers. Go on and see the king. We shall meet the king. That's what he she says. He made Dranleg what it once was. He who peered at the essence of the soul. King Vendred. We are going to meet King Vendred. That's why we are heading towards Drangling. Particularly we need to meet the king because the king has the power to restore the land from being from being hollow. So she gives us the Extus Plus, which is the main recovery item in the game. So right now I'm going to equip Estus Flas. Currently I can only have one Estus Flas. So every time you rest the bonfire, it will regenerate back to how much do you have. So right now we are going to meet another person, which is the blacksmith. Blacksmith is one of the most important character in the game because he helps you to improve your weapon. Any kind of equipment, either shields or magic stuff or swords or axe or hammer. He will help you to improve every kind of item or every kind of weapon particularly. So talk, let's talk. Who are you? Who am I? Oh, it doesn't matter. Just help me open this door. I don't have the key. I packed my tools in here, seeing it was vacant. And now somebody's gone and locked the door. Anyway guys, if you ever meet an NPC which is a non-playable character, do not ever ever try to attack them because if you attack them they will fight against you and if you kill them 
they will never go back to life. All you need to do is to find a bonfire and then dress it to it and maybe if you are lucky, his or her drive yet will appear in front of you and you can summon them back to life. So right now we don't have the key so we cannot really open the door. It's locked. So we are going to travel so some more. And and there's an item over there. Oh, oh I can't really go there. Pick up items. Life jam. Another recovery item. And don't forget to go up here. Because in, at this place there is actually which is a tombstone and also an item. Homeward bone, an item which helps you to go back to the last bonfire. And this is a graveyard, a tomb, which is actually used especially when you're playing in a multiplayer version. But since we are not playing in a multiplayer version, there's actually no use in this thing. Which is to enter covenant, offer all stone and leave. Okay. This is not actually required for us. Now, we are going to explore some more. And if you guys have played Dark Soul and also watched my video before, I said something like this game doesn't have a linear storyline. So, in this game, you can actually pick up the way that you want the game to be so if you see a tunnel like this this is one of the way that you can continue your journey but for me I don't recommend you guys to go in here because the enemy in here is so strong and tough this is sort of like the later part of the game so right now we are going in this is where he sells a lot of items uh, oh, oh hello there. Hi. W welcome to my uh, shop. Welcome. I'm Morlin. Morlin. I know. Well, I sell and armor. And he sells armor. Oh, sorry. I. Please do have a look at my wares. I could really use the business. If you'd be so kind. Okay. Let's talk for a moment. I came from the west, from Volgan. Have you been there? Nope. It's a lively place, vibrant with trade. Very competitive, of course. And you have to grease the wheels to get anywhere. And he's living at a place but I didn't where have the a lot of for that, so I left home about in hopes rich. of striking gold. So he settled it's down here because he wanted to expand <laughs> his business little headway. at Majula. I don't even know why I'm still here. Everything's all run down and dying. It was t terrible for business, really. Don't worry, I'm going to buy some of your t stuff. And he sells shields. But as you can see right now, my strength is not even 10, so I'm not going to buy because I cannot even equip. Okay. Armor. Mm, I'm not going to have it now. A group calling themselves the Blue Sentinels have gained much power in Volgan. Blue Sentinels? You can't even run a shop without their blessing. They claim to be working for the greater good. Oh, that's absolute hogwash. A hogwash? Okay, never mind. I'm leaving well, you. I, I, well, I do hope I see you again. See you again. And we're going to up here because there's an item. Don't forget to pick this up, guys. This is what you need to have when you reach Majula for the first time. Titanite Shard. A Titanite Shard is a shard that is used to improve your equipments. And... We are going here. And at this well, don't forget to attack because there's, a, there's an F2 Splash Shard. An item which helps you to improve the number of S2 flash that you can have at a certain time. So what do you do with this S2 flash shot is actually to give to the Emerald Herald in order for her to improve the number of S2 flash that you can have. 
Hope you are going to talk to her again. Bearer of the curse, seek misery. seek misery. For misery will lead you to greater, stronger souls. Okay. You will never meet the king with a soul so frail and pallid. Seek those whose names are unutterable. The four endowed with immense souls. Their souls will serve as beacons. Once you have found them, return here to me. So that hope will not fade away. What she said over there is actually before we can reach Dranglick and reach King Vendrick, we need to gather four Lord Souls. So in order to collect all these four Lord Souls, we need to beat four main bosses in the game. And after we beat them, only then we can reach Dranglick and to reach King Vendrick. Nice. Okay. Is that a shard you found? Okay, yep. I'm going to give Here, it to you now. Let me see it. So that I may help you. To see light, however faint it might be. Okay. Upgrade Estus Plus. Give Estus Plus shot. Yes. And... Ta-da! Estus Plus strength. Uh... Oh no! I forget! That is not actually to increase the maximum amount, but to increase how much the Estus Flash actually heals your health. So, we are going to level up our character now. Since we are going to use Sorcerer, so it is important that we actually improve what Sorcerer needs in the game. Okay. What is this? Vigilance, this is to improve the number of health, health that you have. So this is the one that I'm going to upgrade. I'm going to upgrade two. Oh no, only one. That is enough. Also guys, always remember to upgrade before you even lost your soul. Because there will be some part of the game that will be very hard. So if you lose your soul, that will be even harder than before. So, okay, endurance. For me, this is the type of ability that is the most importantly in the game, and also, and I will be improving this one a lot of times because this endurance improve the amount of stamina that it, that you have. The more stamina that you have, the higher ability that you have in order to run or to attack or to block. So right now we are going to improve the endurance three times. Yeah, that's enough. You are about to level up the character based on these choices, okay? Yes. And we have upgrade. Upgrade as to first. Nope. Leave. Okay. So far, we have used our dagger. Now we are going to rest at the bonfire for a moment. And I'm going to switch to my sorcerer stuff because I'm going to go and kill some enemies. Right in this place, Majula. Even in Majula, there are enemies. But not really that strong. And there are pigs. Hollow pigs. Oh, nope. If you're using weapon, this is the kind of enemy that is actually hard to hit. So. It is highly recommended that you use a staff in this moment. Oh! Oh! Oh no! I am almost dead! Alright! We are going to kill them now! Yeah, they are dead! Oh! This is sort of like one of the easiest character that you can use in the game because they are having a very good weapon in the starting of the game. Oh. I'm going to kill all these pigs. Infested pigs. Cursed. Oh, and they drop some items. Track right eye orb. As I have said, this item is actually used in online modes where you are going to attack any other players that which, when you are go online but since I'm not onlining 
so we are not too going to use that item and we are going to enter this house but unfortunately this door is locked it's locked okay everything seems okay but there's one more place that we need to explore which is here this is one of the places where you actually want to go and continue your journey but I'm not going to go there now because we can't really go there there's something that actually blocks our way so this is not the place that we need to go but I'm just going to show you guys and and there's a guy sitting over there with his blue swords and let's talk to him for a moment have you business with me? yes the way you under is all blocked up you see by this god of his statue what statue? heavens above who thought it a good idea to pit it there? Oof. I'm in quite the pickle now okay also guys if you meet any kind of NPC character be sure to talk to them because some of them might be helping you in boss battle so make sure to talk to them in order for them to help you because these bosses are insane so every kind of help is needed life gem and homeward bone okay this is good I got three and I got three life gem oh there's an enemy oh no oh no he's hitting the door Oh god. Oh god! No, no, no. And that actually deals with a lot of damage. Rapier! Yay. I got a new weapon. A rapier. But unfortunately, I don't have enough strength. And what is that? Another thing. And B. Okay. I have Leo's Talisman. What is the use of that thing again? I forgot. Let me think. Leo's Talisman blocks Estus recovery within a limited area, which means if you if you are fighting against somebody or against an F NPC that is using an Estus Flash, you can use that item to block their recovery moment. So it is like they are using their weapons. We are using uh, recovery items, but not going to affect anything. Oops, is there enemy? Okay, we are going to do backstab. Oh no! Oh, you! Gross! Your belly looks stuck. He is having a very bad belly. That sucks. And there's nothing here. And this is where the part, the part that you cannot go, because there is actually an idol that is actually blocking your way. The only way that you can solve this problem, actually, you need to find some kind of item that can make these stones become human back. Because if you can see very carefully, this is actually a human being, a woman. A statue blocks away. And there's a crank over there that crank opens this door, but she's blocking the way. So right now we are going back. And we are going back again. Oops, I'm going faster this time because it is quite far. Oops. And now I'm going to show you to another way that we can continue our journey. And and at here. This is the place that we are going to go later on but not now. Because this is like the second place that we need to go after completing the first one. So we are not going here. This is also where we are going to continue our journey later on. So I'm 
gonna show you where we are going to go next since we have explored everything in Majula but we cannot really go in the house right now so we are going what we need to do now is we need to find the key to open this blacksmith's house and also the key to open that big mansion over there so I hope you guys this video really helpful and also don't forget to like it to share and to comment and of course to subscribe on the channel and I'll see you guys in the next video bye